let's get cracking. We've got some helpers. Let's clean my house. This is my first cleaning video or like cleaning style video. I am going to do a thorough deep clean almost, almost like spring clean maybe of my home. It's Sunday. I've got work tomorrow. This is like a intense version of what I do on weekends. Some of it I do every week. Hopefully you can't hear the dishwasher. I've got the dishwasher on right below me. So this is a intensive ultimate Sunday reset cleaning routine. Some things only get done once a fortnight or once a month, but I'm doing it all today. Oh. Typical when I'm doing an intro, the dishwasher. Anyway. <laughs> it is going to be a busy day, so get comfortable, get your cleaning gloves on. Let's get cracking. I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> it's 9.25 and I'm just going to unload the groceries that have been delivered. And I've got some helpers. Usually I try and get my groceries delivered Saturdays or Sunday morning because I do food prep for the week on Sundays and I need ingredients for that. It's the Melbourne Grand Prix weekend, so I've got that on the TV and I've been doing a bit of YouTube. Formula 3 is on at the moment, but look at that sunlight pouring in. Ah, oh, gosh, I love this house. Anyway, so I'm just doing like scheduling, which just, yeah, I'm doing a bit of computery stuff whilst having my, and I'm about to make breakfast. I've got a lot of stuff to deal with today. This is usually what happens every Sunday. <laughs> I have to cut the handles off one or two bags. There's last weekend's bag. I love having paper bags just lying around the house all week. It's great. I am ready. Originally, I was going to do this video room by room because it's easier for me to film, but that's not how I clean. I've got a hat on because I mean business, so I'm going to get hot and sweaty, so hats on like I'm working out. Place is looking pretty messy. Yeah, so anyway, let's clean my house. Okay, so this is me the night before. I love to do this. This is a really easy hack for timing. I just set my machine delay end at about, well, whatever the time is that I want it to be ready to hang out the next day. And I do this quite often, especially on a Friday night or throughout the week. And saves a lot of time if you forget to put the machine on. Now I'm just unloading last night's washing and putting in the sheets. So I don't know if they'll dry though because it's not the best weather today. Yesterday was really sunny. I also use cleaning vinegar when I'm washing sheets or white towels. Just find it really helps them to be a bit fluffier and a bit more sterilized. Now I'm just putting toilet cleaner in and spraying the bathroom from head to toe. I usually leave this for as long as necessary or long, as long as it takes for me to do my cleaning, to have a shower and then I deal with the bathroom before I jump in the shower. So I'll just leave that to macerate basically. The next step is to go around the house, get any rubbish, straighten up, take things to where they live or put things away, just tidy up generally and pick up any rubbish or 
things that are out of place or shouldn't be where they are currently positioned or living. Not much to do in this room. This is the guest room, so slash the cat room. <laughs> this is a mattress protector. It's fantastic. It's double-sided and I actually had it on the wrong way the last time I put it on because I washed it and so I'm just, I'm just now putting it on the right way and it's a wonderful product. I love this. I, I use one of these because I've got obviously an adjustable bed and so when you put the bed up the protector doesn't move otherwise it just kind of bunches up and, and in the middle moves around a lot. So I have the vacuum going. Her name's Jazz and she's my D-Bot T9 Plus. So she's actually quite old now. She needs to be retired and I need a new one. She's actually only got one wing or one brush, but she's still going. She still does a good job. So she does vacuuming and mopping, but not simultaneously. So it's not a very fancy unit like it was when I bought it, but a few years later they bought out the, the ones that can vacuum and mop, that can fill their own tanks, clean their own water, clean their own mop, brush, pad things. Anyway, so Sundays I have her mop the hard surfaces and vacuum everywhere, but I will probably have to go over the vacuuming um, in the spots where she's missed because like I said she's not what she used to be she's um she's okay once I've cleaned up relatively and I've put away cat toys that are on the floor because she'll suck them up um, then I can have her on There's things like this as well I'll put these up because she'll get tangled in them and then she stops. Anything else that's like a floor is fair game for her. She's like, no, oh, that's coming with me, it's rubbish. So I'll just do a floor check, but oh, I don't think she'll get any of this stuff, which is their feathers from my doona, which is from years ago. It's a summer doona, because I lived in Sydney, it was very hot. But I need a new doona now, a duvet, now I live in Tassie. So anyway, hopefully you can hear me, it's quite noisy. She is not quiet. <sighs> Back to work. got a fair bit of rubbish that I've accumulated from a couple of deliveries. You can see my new Ryobi lawnmower there. And B loves to think that she's going to escape and she's tried a few times so I have to pull the sliding door across. Not the best day for hanging laundry on the line but I haven't got a dryer. When I moved to Tasmania, my dryer didn't make it, so I still am yet to buy myself a new dryer, so drying everything out on the line. I didn't have a washing line in Sydney, so this is a luxury for me. I didn't wash my pillows or my duvet. I'm just giving them a good air outside. After I have tidied up and gotten all the rubbish, when everything's in its right place, then I dust and I use Mr. Sheen. My Mr. Sheen. Here we go. So I use Mr. Sheen on 
anything that's not like a wet area. So I wouldn't Mr. Sheen the kitchen bench or the laundry bench or the bathroom bench, but like any other surfaces in the house. So microfiber cloth for dusting. And then I will use another microfiber cloth to do the Mr. Sheen. I'm also gonna get out a glass cleaner because I'm gonna use that for the mirrors and the glass surfaces. I'm gonna do the whole house so it's easy because you just carry this around with you and you dust the surface, then you spray it and then you clean it and it's done. And then I do the same thing with, what's, where's my glass cleaner? I've currently got, I'm nearly out of it, the Koala glass cleaner. Love this stuff. Everything from this Australian cleaning line, uh, company is biodegradable, plant-based, smells friggin' amazing. This is actually my favorite one because it's per, uh, peppermint and it smells, it's, everything smells great. The floor cleaner, I've got the hand soap, the dish soap, the, I've tried everything and everything is beautiful. And they also do glass pump bottles and spray bottles. So I use those, but anyway, and they also do, um, I don't have any with me in here. It's concentrate, so you just put a small amount in and then you chop it up with water. Anyway, so I buy that in bulk from Koala. You can have a subscription, whatever. Anyway, I love this brand and I buy it when I can. So it's quite cheap too. Anyway, so I use this to spray the surfaces like glass, mirrors, and I do that after dusting. And that's what we're doing next. While I'm in the hallway, I want to tell you about my Scent Australia diffuser. Let's turn down the camera. This is an automatic diffuser. It's got a bit of few stains on it because it's quite old, but this is, oh, I love this stuff. Currently got this on a timer. Scent is in the bottom. Just see it there. And it's called Patisserie. It's amazing. And I have this on a schedule bursts out the fragrance here. I think this is an on and on, on and off or like a burst button and it's got an app. I have another diffuser that I don't really use anymore that's not smart diffuser, but this one I can I set to a schedule. So I have candles on on the weekends, but I also have this on a schedule, mainly because we're right near a litter box. And if I'm upstairs or I've got guests staying and a cat decides to go to the toilet, you can really smell it. So, well, straight upstairs. So I've got this diffuser here and I have this diffuser on a schedule all week and I just set it and forget it and then you replace the bottles as you need and it's so good. Especially when if you are away all day and you've got animals and you come home and everything's been closed up and you can come home and know that you haven't had like a scent omitting all day so you don't get like hit in the face but it does like keep the place smelling a bit nicer and not in my instance not like a giant litter box when I come home. <laughs> So anyway, I love it. It's really good. Anyway, so then because I'm in the hallway, it's not much to do except water this um, water this fern. So I've had my Apple Watch on. So far, we've got 80 minutes. That's how long it's been since I started. I'm getting a bit hot and sweaty, but it's a good workout.
I got this relax spray from Kmart so I, I, I love spraying my bedding when I'm changing the sheets over I just find it really elevates and makes my bedtime experience feel a little bit more luxurious so I always spray my bedding before I make the bed just tidying up the room as well before I do the dusting and Mr Sheening and the glass cleaning Been up and down the stairs twice to get the Mr. Sheen that I stupidly thought I was done with. Fluffy's been following me. Oh my goodness me. I've gone up and down these stairs. It's good. It's good for the fitness. got two pet kit Puramax automatic litter boxes that don't require a lot of regular cleaning but I usually check the the bin bag all the random litter that's come out throughout the week hiding underneath and at the moment I need to change the liner in both of my litter boxes so I'm just sort of scraping <laughs> the bits of cat 
deposits that haven't quite made it through to the bin in the cleaning cycle, which is a little bit annoying. Now I'm just topping up the dry cat food that goes in the automatic pet feeder. My cats are a bit spoilt. I give them a couple of different varieties of dry food. It's a bit like a lolly shop for them. Not a huge fan of this feeder. Now it's time to water my indoor plants. I've got the citrus food for this Washington orange. Yes, it's an, it's an orange, it's not a lime. <laughs> and then I've got this fantastic plant runner indoor plant food for the rest of the indoor plants, which is this sorry looking Boston fern. I actually moved this since I filmed this video to be a little bit more in a sunny position. And then I've got my sage. Look at it go. Look at that sage, would you? And I've got lemon thyme as well. These are just self watering pots. So I just top them up. Done the litter, cleaned the litter boxes a few weeks ago so they don't actually need a proper clean inside. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna vacuum now. had a little mini break to watch the grid coverage national anthem um, for the Australian Grand Prix. I am a F1 fan and it's really annoying that I'm filming this video because I want to sit down and watch the Grand Prix because it's live in Australia. Any other round it's hard to watch live so I really want to just stop cleaning and watch the Grand Prix but it's 10 to 3, so if I don't keep going, I won't finish. And I've got a bit to do. I don't think I'll get to the mowing the lawns today, um, but I've never mowed the lawns before. This is a first for me, so it could be a Good Friday activity, I think. So anyway, just thought I'd jump on in. Um, and weirdly my dishwasher didn't clean properly so I'm waiting for that to finish. I have to do food prep as well. well when I make my dinner I'll do the food prep. Currently I'm on 3 hours and 12 minutes but it is taking me longer because I'm moving the camera around a lot and this is like a marathon clean for me. I don't always spend 3 plus hours cleaning on weekends. <sighs> He's so cute. Oh. Not the best day, not very sunny. So in a fun twist, my iPhone that I was using to film all of the B-roll like fast footage because um, I wouldn't have enough memory or battery on my camera, that's gone flat. I am waiting for that to charge up but it's just it just so happens to be uh, right before the start of the race so I'm gonna watch a bit of the race while my iPhone charges and then recommence cleaning normally I probably wouldn't stop I would keep going but because I want to film it I have to stop but it actually looks like it might rain so I might go out and get I'm gonna go out and get my doona duvet in from on the line and my pillows just in case it rains and I might have a cup of tea as well because it's three o'clock <laughs> I really love the Grand Prix we used to go when I was younger as a family so I've kind of got a little bit of an attachment to it from my childhood and I love doing more than one thing at a time and multitasking. So here I am doing the folding. I've got another load that's going in now. Now it's time to put away the clean laundry, which doesn't really take that long, but this is the sort of task that's just annoying. And sometimes I do leave this 
does anyone else hate this part? <laughs> it's kind of like unloading the dishwasher. Now I'm choosing my outfits for the week. I don't always wear what I put out, but I like to have a bit of an idea of what to wear just so I've got some kind of a guide. I am a little bit slow in the morning, so a bit of a procrastinator of sorts. And I usually check the weather, but it's not that reliable in Tasmania. I've got a new pair of Birkenstocks that are suede during the week, so I'm finally getting around to waterproofing those. A little bit late because it's the end of summer, so I probably won't wear them that much, but I've been meaning to get some for a while. Starting on the kitchen, finally. Usually I do the kitchen first, so I'm not sure why I didn't do that for this video. But anyway, I'm just cleaning the coffee machine tray and knock box. And I, I like to do this usually once a week. Putting away some of the things I washed earlier on to clear the space to start the actual cleaning. <laughs> Clearing away to start cleaning. Now, Gumption, my goodness, if you haven't heard of Gumption, you are missing out. Gumption is Australian made. It's been around for 60 years. It's got fine granules in it that gently exfoliate the surface and just remove ingrained dirt that other cleaners can miss. And it also makes things really shiny. It's mild on hands, it's non-toxic. Uh, there's no overwhelming fumes either. I just, oh, I just love gumption and it lasts so long. I use it usually just in the kitchen, bathroom, laundry, but you can use it outdoors as well, I think. Um, you can use it to clean baths, sinks, tiles, stainless steel, ceramic and enamel cooktops, laminate bench tops, vinyl floors, fiberglass. There's a lemon scent and a eucalyptus scent. I tend to like the lemon scent. You can, you, I think you can buy it in Asia and Australia. Coles Woolies. IGA, Big W, Mitre 10, but I don't think you can buy it anywhere else. You might be able to get it on Amazon. If you can, I'll put a link in the description below. I'm just spraying my Koala multi-surface kitchen spray cleaner on the cooktop just to get a bit of the initial mess off make it slightly easier to clean then I will go over with the gumption then I will do a stainless steel spray over everything to make it extra shiny so I didn't use gumption at all here that's interesting I think I was going to use gumption if I needed to but it turns out that the koala kitchen multi-surface cleaner did the job so I didn't need the gumption after all I love, I love the smell of this spray and it makes it so shiny. Love it. I love Koala Eco products. They smell so good. Look at that shine, would you? Oh, look at that shine. Beautiful. I don't usually do these, but they were getting a little bit gross. And I have a feeling that they've never been cleaned before. I don't think the previous tenants cleaned them either because they were absolutely disgusting. And then I probably shouldn't have put them in the water because it made them really sticky. Then I had to get the orange power out, the uh, goo remover stuff, which helped, but it wasn't a completely perfect result. Now I'm just doing the bench tops and the splashbacks. I did do the cupboard, cupboards as you can kind of see here, but I didn't bother showing that. Love a good clean worktop kitchen bench. Doesn't last very long though, does it? This is sparkling clean. I've cleaned all the surfaces. I just have to, the dishwasher's playing up and it's not releasing the little 
pellet thing. So this is the third go with what's in there and this is has to go in. But the cats are hungry because it's 20 minutes after their tea time. So anyway, I use stainless steel cleaner for everything except the benches, the splashback. Okie dokie, time to feed the little boo boo munchkins. Oh, yes, I weigh their food. It's because I give them half a packet in the morning and in the evening so they get one packet each a day and I'm a little bit anal so I measure it out so they're getting the right amount mainly because Fluffy uh, was a little bit underweight when she was a lot younger so I started weighing their food and I just still do it. Does anyone else weigh their cat's food if they've got more than one cat? Maybe I'm, hopefully I'm not alone. Pretty obvious what I'm doing here just wiping down everything in the wet area in the laundry and the good old gumption's back it strikes again just love how shiny it makes the sink it's fantastic stuff really So this is Velvet Soap, aka Sunlight Soap. I don't know, it's the same stuff. And I'm cleaning my brushes with a bar of Velvet Soap. I've been doing this for years. I get them lathered up and then I leave the soap, lathered soap on the brushes for, I don't know, five minutes maybe or longer. Sometimes I'll go away and do more. I should have done this this morning, but I sometimes will leave them so long that the soap dries on the brushes, but then once it's had a go at penetrating the brush bristles, clean off the soap with warm water, lay them flat on a towel, let them dry. Yeah, usually I like to do this earlier in the day because then it gives them more time to dry. But anyway, here we are doing it now. Right, it's 10 to 7 and I'm still going because obviously I had a huge break while my phone charged and I had a break myself and I watched the Grand Prix. Oh my gosh, it's so windy outside. I don't know if my bedding will be dry, even though it's been really windy, because it hasn't been that warm or sunny. Anyway, the sun's going down. Last few things to do, put the bins out because it's been night, but I won't film that because that's boring. Food prep for the week. I do scrambled eggs for three mornings and smoothies for the other two. However, it's a short week this week, so it's Good Friday uh, on Friday. <laughs> so I'm gonna, just gonna do two scrambled eggs and then I'm going to roast four chicken breasts and I've also got a flat, like a flattened chicken roasting but I'm going to put that in my air fryer and so I'm going to do that now because when the chicken's in I'm then going to go and do the bathroom which is the final step before actually no I'm going to take the bins out first 
but that's then I'll have a shower and then it'll be time to relax so slightly later than I would like usually I like to be all done by four o'clock it's ten to seven but that's because of the Grand Prix so that doesn't always happen but anyway I'm really tired my body sore my lower back sore my feet are sore oh yeah so food prep let's do food prep putting some nutritional yeast in my scrambled eggs. I find this really makes them taste a little bit more intense. Love with nutritional yeast, a bit of salt and pepper. Usually I have them with half an avocado or smoked salmon in the mornings. And I find that really does get me through until lunch. I took the chicken out of the plastic and put it in that pan. I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. <laughs> this is a trick I learned from Jamie Oliver for parchment or baking paper. Screw it up into a ball first and then it won't curl back. It just stays in place. Garlic infused olive oil. I use that all the time because I have IBS and I can't use real garlic. And then I love this coconut amino seasoning. I go through a lot of this. It doesn't really make it taste coconutty. It just is a bit like nutritional yeast. It brings out the flavours. I'm being lazy today. I'm using store-bought dried herbs but usually I will put in rosemary, thyme and sage that I have in my house because that's what I grow my herbs for but I just couldn't be bothered today. I've been doing so much and it was the end of the day so it's just like bugger it. Dried supermarket herbs it is. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. In the oven for 40 minutes on 200 degrees, 220 I think Celsius. Oh, that's so annoying. Annoyingly, this bloody dishwasher, I don't know why it's not working. I ended up buying a dishwashing powder instead of tablets to use after this episode because I just can't deal with that happening again. It was the third attempt at getting the dishes to be clean from a cycle in the dishwasher. Reloading the dishwasher now with what has been lurking about on the bench all day. And I just finish off doing my snacks for the week. I usually have a whole carrot a day and maybe half a cucumber. And my chicken's done. Because my sheets weren't dry today from washing them this morning, once I get a dryer, I won't have to worry about this, but I'm just putting on a sheet. I'm a bit rusty with the old hospital corners, so don't come for me in the comments. <laughs> Just making the bed ready for me to jump in this evening and the time has finally come for me to clean the bathroom so I've got the bath running so I can use the hot water to give the bath a proper scrub clean yes that is the world's smallest vanity basin I don't know what they were thinking when they put that basin in <laughs> decided not to film me in the shower cleaning the shower screen sorry just decided it wasn't the right type of content for my channel didn't really fancy getting uh, a strike yeah so I was <laughs> I'm gonna film the outro now because it's still daylight and I have a feeling that when I'm finished it'll be not daylight so that is my ultimate Sunday reset cleaning refresh for the week so I can feel ready to go and I don't do all of that in one hit there was a lot of intensive cleaning today but generally I do most of it 
Sometimes I'll do some on Saturday and some on Sunday. Anyway, this is my first cleaning video. So if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. There will be some suggestions on screen for you so you can stick around if you want. And also say hi to me on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. And until my next video, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.